I buy all my toys, figures, and collectibles at Big Bad Toy Store, and you can too. They ship worldwide, and you don't pay for it until it arrives in their store. What's up, Sir Yermit here. Check this out. This is a short video to share with you the announcement of the release of the new Spider-Man Homecoming Iron Man Mark 47 Hot Toys MMS 427 D19 1-6 scale collectible figure. Wait a minute. What? MMS 427 D19? No, 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 no. A re-release? Oh my god. Okay, so for whatever insane reason, Hot Toys has decided to re-release the Mark 47. MMS 427, D19, not even changing the MMS number, not even changing the die-cast sequence. It is an exact re-release of the MMS 427, D19, Mark 47 that was released a couple of years ago in conjunction with the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. Now, this kind of goes along with my thought that could it possibly be that we're going to get an explanation of what the Mark 48 and Mark 49 were from the disappearance of them? Is it possible that we're going to get an explanation as what the heck Tony was doing wearing a white outfit and a scarf and was that a lay we seen on him when he's talking to Spider-Man in Homecoming and Peter Parker's like, thank you for coming and rescuing me and opens up the front of his helmet and there's no Tony inside. Which of course was the setup for later when we have a big reveal and a really important part of the movie. I'd like to think that possibly in the new Black Widow movie that's upcoming, which from my understanding takes place kind of in the past from before Infinity War and Endgame, Maybe we'll see Tony with the Mark 47 and the Mark 48 and the Mark 49 and all everything is going to be explained to us. I may be not even close to what's really going to happen, but it's uh, something for me nice to think about. Uh, why else would they re-release a figure? Who cares if you missed out on it? Truthfully, I mean Hot Toys is all about getting the extra money and this is obviously a very popular figure, but is this going to be a preview of things to come? Are they just going to re-release every single figure? We've got the Mark 43. That one I understood because of the Hulkbuster. It's kind of a requirement with the Hulkbuster. Didn't really re-release the Hulkbuster. They came out the Hulkbuster with the jackhammer arm, which was the big promise. But uh, I don't understand why the Mark 47. Anyhow, it is available for pre-order right now. You can click the link in the description below. You do require a small security deposit, but you don't pay for it until it arrives. It's not going to be here for a little while. And now is the opportunity to get this. It's a great piece. I loved my Mark 47. You're not going to go wrong getting this. It's one of the best pieces they ever made. I have to say that. I, but they can make more figures. They can make any other figure they wanted to to make more money. So something's up. The rest of the description is going to follow right now. It's the same description that I gave before. And if you're not sticking around for the rest of the video, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share this with your friends, let them know where they can go to find 1-6 scale news and reviews. Subscribe to my Patreon. Hey, help me out. It's difficult to do anything anymore nowadays. And if you have just a dollar to send, hey, that would be so welcome. Even only a dollar a month helps out so much. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Stick around if you want to hear what I talked about last time this figure came out. Otherwise, see you Saturday or see you on the next video. Bye. So Hot Toys official announcement says, we are all counting down to one of the most anticipated blockbusters of the year, Spider-Man Homecoming, and it will be showing on the silver screen fairly soon. Following the events of Captain America Civil War, Tony Stark took up the role as Peter Parker's mentor, guiding him to strike a balance between his dual identity of being a high school student and a superhero. With Spider-Man Homecoming only weeks away from hitting the theater, Hot Toys is very excited to present to you their latest figure, Iron Man Mark 47, MMS 427, D19, their 19th figure in their diecast series from their movie masterpiece series collection diecast series. Made with fine die-cast materials, the much elaborated Iron Man Mark 47 figure stands approximately 32 centimeters tall with 30 points of articulation and has 28 LED light-up points throughout its body. The streamlined armor is expertly painted with metallic red and gold colors with a distinctive two-tone metallic silver and dark silver color in the midsection. An array of components are added to this figure including a newly painted Tony Stark head sculpt featuring the likeness of Robert Downey Jr with movie accurate facial features including a detailed beard, wrinkles, and skin texture sculpted by Kojun with each head being specially hand painted by JC Hong. 
head art direction also by J.C. Hong. The Mark 47 also includes one interchangeable LED light-up helmeted head, one interchangeable empty helmet with detachable mask, emulating a suit in remote control mode. We have not seen this since the Mark II Armor Unleashed. Really excited about that. One pair of interchangeable shoulder armor, regular missile firing. One pair of interchangeable forearm armor, regular missile firing. Fully deployable air flaps on the back of the armor. One detachable chest armor, which can be detached to reveal the interior mechanical design on the body of the suit. Four pairs of interchangeable hands, including one pair of fists, one pair of hands with articulated fingers and light at repulsors, one pair of battle palms with light at repulsor, and one pair of hands with permanently attached real light thrust fire effect. Included accessories are one pair of gray colored lens sunglasses, two real light thrust fire accessories attachable to the feet of the figure, two articulated mini repulsors, one mini repulsors deployer with articulated dynamic posing rod which attaches to the specially designed Spider-Man Homecoming figure stand with character nameplate and movie logo, two real like thrust fire accessories attachable to the mini repulsors and the deployer emulating the repulsors being launched. This Iron Man Mark 47 collectible figure is something you do not want to pass up. It will definitely be an excellent addition to your Marvel Iron Man Spider-Man collection. Anticipated release date is approximately between Q4 2017 to Q1 2018. So far, there has been no price set on this. I expect that'll probably drop in a few hours, maybe a little bit later. It is a die-cast figure. It does come with a good little bit of accessories. Possibly around $350 is what I anticipate. This is also the prototype shown. Final product may be slightly different. Batteries are included for a collectible figure. Button cells are required. And product details could be subject to change without further notice. Copyright Marvel and Hot Toys 2017. So tell me what you all think about this. Are you going to be picking this up? Are you excited about the new diecast figure? This looks great. It looks just like the Ultimate Iron Man from the comics. What can I say? Follow me on Facebook at Surrey.Emerald, Twitter at Surrey Emerald. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Subscribe to me on Patreon. Every little bit helps. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps out a lot. Share this video with your friends. That helps out as well. If you're already a subscriber of mine, thank you very much. I appreciate and love every one of you, and your support is tremendous. If you haven't already subscribed to me, take this opportunity now to do so. And to see more videos that I made, you'll find them posted over here on the right. Thanks again for watching, everyone. See you in the next video. Happy collecting.